Hey, what's up guys? It's been a long day, but we just got in this beautiful 2009 Cobalt 262 Battle Rider and I'm excited to show it to you. So the purpose of this video is to show you this awesome boat that I have for sale here at Heartland Marine. So do me a favor, if you call or come by to check it out, please ask for me. We're going to start by doing the butt seat test to see how much room there is for your friends and family's butts. We'll take a look at the exterior, finish up with the interior, and that'll be it. Thanks for watching. Let's get started. But first, I'd like to introduce our channel. I've been passionately selling boats for over 19 years. The purpose of this channel is to help you and your family enjoy boats and boating just as much as my family and I enjoy it. So thanks to the help of my staff here at Heartland Marine and my sons, we've been able to successfully upload hundreds of boat reviews, instruction on operation, help, and how-to videos. I don't ask for anything in return, except for the opportunity to possibly help you find a boat when your time comes. So to stay up on everything Everybody we upload, click that subscribe button below and stay tuned. Nice. So now it's time for the butt seat test. The butt seat test is when I get the boat chair, which room there is for your friends and family's butt. Captain shares, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we can put eight in the sole of our boat, which is cockpit floor. Now we're going to shoot up onto the deck. So eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 13, which is a lot. You can put 13 beautiful Lake Ozark redneck butts in your 262 Cobalt. This boat's rated for 15 people, which is more than that. So some people are going to have to lose some weight, like me. Anyhow, if you're interested to know how boat capacity ratings are given by manufacturers, down in the description below, I include a bunch of links, like the video that explains that, as well as the video that explains boat insurance, uh, how marine financing works, dock boats, and tie ropes. So check those out. Now let's look at the exterior of this back out. Wow. This is a nice boat. All right, this bad gal just came in and hasn't even had a bath yet. You gotta love this model. It's got the low water swim platform, barely sits above the water. You can swim right on that sucker. It's got the Bravo 3 Drive 496 Mag Mer Cruiser. Caps called exhaust. The slider does fold out. Right here, lock, release, release, down to go. It's not missing any of these steps, which is very common for this model. So let's lock it. So Joe coat is in beautiful condition. We got some very, very light little nicks right here that will just, well actually that'll buff out. See if it doesn't stop your fingernail, it should just buff right out. Nice and tall hole sided, which gives you plenty of free board, which is interior depth. So your friends and family feel safe while boating. It's got stainless steel docking light housing, stainless steel ball scuff plate. A red keel guard. It's not hiding anything, it's just a keel guard. Lifting streaks. Reverse chines in beautiful shape. Just look at that baby glimmer down the side. Coming up onto the bow. This is a very sharp deep V hole. You got me shoved in here tight, dropping down whole side, port side. Beautiful. I just shut the door. Sorry about the audio. Okay, I'm not skinny enough to get through here. See, it's not. So we're gonna go on the back and take a look down. Okay, there are some little bitty nicks back here in the red. And that's all I saw. So just right through here, doesn't stop your fingernail. Very fine, no big deal, easy to fix. This bad boy will be a solid 9.962 after we buffer out. So now let's jump inside and take a look at the stunning interior of this 2009 Cobalt 262 Bowrider. Hey dad, that's a cool whip. So if you've ever watched any of my videos before, you know I love this model because it's amazing. I just love how well built it is and how well thought out it is and this one's loaded. 
So for wet swim chairs, noodles, anything wet and obnoxious that your kids are throwing at you to put back in the boat when they're done with it, instead of dragging it over here where you're just completely relaxing and throw it in there. It's got a tow bar that goes back there. Only Nick in the upholstery, which if you go back and watch my videos, every one of them is nicked right here where the rope rubs it. Because for tubing, you use that for kneeing, ski, kneeing, knee boarding, skiing, weight boarding, slalom. You can use the tow point on the tower. So we have a nice, nice safe walkthrough. I say safe because it's nice and deep. Stainless steel little door here to keep kids and critters from falling out. The aft seating configuration swings like that. So you can watch your kids fight one another while on the Maui mat. I don't know if that's what it's called. I got one, but I can't remember what it's called. So the upholstery is in phenomenal shape and it has the upgraded stereo system. Cup holders back here, benchmark of alcoholics. We also have a cooler. Doesn't work that great, but that's what it's designed to be in a trash can. It works great because it's a trash can. Looking at the helm, these captain's chairs are amazing. It's got the flip up bolster. They swivel and slide, not hiding anything. I hope when I lay that down flat, I love how this boat's so finished. Like you don't just see raw fiberglass everywhere. They pay extreme attention to detail. It's got the Italian Asada steering wheel, leather wrap dash, bingo wood panels, storage right there. Another thing you gotta love, this cockpit's very roomy. Everyone that looks at this model always thinks it's a lot wider than it is. And I think that's because they square off the windshield. Then if you look at the gunnels, it comes up, over, down, then they build into the boat. So it's got an awesome tower. The Bimini top's built in, it's got speakers up here. Basically, if you like to party, this is your boat. Or if you like to cruise comfortably with your family and friends, this is your boat. This ski storage is huge. As you know, as you know, I'm super freaking tall. I'm not, but I'm almost all the way down in here. I'm sure that was loud and for that, I apologize. We just lift up the old engine hatch. And for a boat that hasn't went through detail, look how awesome this is. 496 Mag Mercruiser, Corsa Performance Exhaust. You can turn that bag out off or on. It's got 291 batter hours. It's got dual batteries with a switch. You know whoever had it took good care of it because dual Optima batteries are stupid expensive, but they're awesome. And that's what it has. Someone that's unable to make their boat payments probably isn't buying Optima batteries, just saying. So underneath the floor, in the sole of the boat, we have a big cooler. Once again, if you like to party or cruise sober like I do, it's a great boat for you. Poor side helm seat. The whole poor side helm's well finished. Bad drivers have an oh shit handle. Oh, times two. Little glove box right here, I call it the mom box, because in our cobalt, my wife takes our stuff and puts it in there. We can hook our phone into the radio. It's not Bluetooth, but the MEX 72BT is a model that will change that out for you. In here we have a head and a mirror to do your makeup, guys. It's very important. Ski storage in the floor right here. Let's lift that up. All the carpet snaps out full of fiberglass floor. We even have a gain control for the stereo system. So this thing is way bigger than it looks. Right there. Normally I'd get in there and show you how much room it is, but I just had some pizza. Afraid I'll get gassy and that'd be embarrassing. Right here, we have the wind block door. Shuts off the wind from kids, so the kids don't get their hair messed up. See, just like that. Then you shut the window. You get the point, it's all good. Darn it, Brandon. There we go, up into the bow. So this does have the bow filler seats right here. So if you wanna sit and face forward, these just slide out, both these seats. Both they're in here, let's look at them. Once again, all the vinyl's great. You can put four up here because there's four cup holders, or for people that drink and a designated bow driver. In the starboard side headrest, it's phenomenal storage. You have big amps for the sub. There's a piece of carpet that goes back there, the walkthrough. You have shelves storage, which I do really enjoy actually. Um, three amps. It's like a Crutchfield catalog in there. You have more storage above the stem, in the bow, on the deck, anchor locker, awesome cleats. Here we go. Stainless steel docking line housings. Am I forgetting anything? Checking out all the seams and stitching, it's great. Well, once again, my name is Brandon. If you call here and shoot this bad boy, please ask for me.
It's in great shape. We're going to clean it and make it even more awesome. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the water. All right, so this bad boy just came in. Hasn't even had a bath yet, but it is in stunning condition. So you got to love this model. It's got the low water swim platform. You can swim right on that baby when you're coving out. This sucker's got the 496 Mag Mer Cruiser and Captain's Tom's Awesome microphones backwards. Sorry about that. How's it going? Good, how are you? Good. He's on the other side of that.